say historically, we'll start there and then we'll move to what's happened in the present day. So historically, these tumors have been treated with surgery, right? So they see a mass, let's remove it. There's a couple of issues with that. One is that once the tumor has been resected or removed, there's a very high chance that the tumor will actually come back and it will recur. The reason for that is, as I mentioned, these tumors grow along fascial planes. So imagine it's like, um, it's a very invasive tumor, almost like a, imagine an octopus letting out you know, several legs. So that's what happens. These tumors are very invasive. So even if you can cut the tumor out, you might not have gotten all of it and the tumor can grow back um, in that same spot. So that's why typically now patients are followed with what's called active surveillance or this watchful waiting. And what that means is that depending on the situation, depending on the location of the tumor, the size of the tumor, whether or not the tumor is progressing and growing, and whether or not it is causing a patient symptoms, is it causing pain, the patient will be actively surveilled. They will be watched. They will go in and see their, um, their doctor on probably every three or four months. They will, the doctor will look at the patient's tumor on a scan and ask the patient how they feel. And if the tumor is relatively causing no problem and it's um, not causing the patient any symptoms, they will just continue to watch that tumor. Again, because they don't metastasize, you know, there's not that fear that it's going to start spreading throughout the body. So they'll just watch it. When the patient or the tumor changes, so if the tumor starts to cause problems for the patient, as I mentioned, pain, let's say, or the tumor starts to grow, or it starts to cause an issue with a vital organ, that's when a more active treatment will then be engaged for the patient. So for example, in those cases, patients might be treated with chemotherapy to shrink the tumor. So if it's a fast growing tumor, they, they might use different types of chemotherapy and also other therapies called systemic therapies. Um, these can be therapies that have been tried in other cancers, but have shown some effect in some studies that can be effective in a des on a desmoid tumor. So those would be a couple of the different options that can be used to treat the patients. We are currently in a phase three clinical trial and um, we are studying niragasistat, which is called a gamma secretase inhibitor. This is an investigational agent. And our phase three study is looking to see whether niragasistat is able to be effective in adult patients that have progressing desmoid tumors. So that means that these tumors are actually growing and causing the patients some issues. So the, the clinical trial is, is currently fully enrolled um, and we are basically just uh, waiting for that trial to mature. So